What's up guys? It's your boy, Doc Holiday, Josh Smith, JS Urban Adventures, you know. And today I'm gonna be reviewing Boom! Oops, I meant to do it that way. <laughs> the Aegis Max Little down Boots. Aegis Max Down Boots. Don't show you the hole in the opening clip, huh? <laughs> Intro. What's up guys? So, like I was saying, these are the Aegis Max Wind Hard Winter Down Booties. This is the little carrying case they come with. Drawstring bag made of nylon, not ripstop nylon. In the bag, they're very small, very compact. I can fit it in one fist. It squeezes down real tight. So, not a problem at all with taking up space. That's one of the reasons I got these. Let me show you what they are, if you don't haven't figured it out yet. They're booties made of down. The company's called Aegis Max. The item, I guess, is wind, wind Hard Winter Down Booties. This is a size large. These cost me $19.99 when I bought them. Now they're on sale on Amazon for $18.99. So in between that price range, they're gonna be about 20 bucks. Um, now, as you can see, there's a hole there. There's Another hole starting there um, on the other booty. There's a hole here, pretty big hole. And another hole here. Now, I saw this in the customer comments. I was warned about it. Um, I've had these since December 6th. It's January 18th right now. So not a whole lot of time, less than a month. Um, but basically, the durability on these is pretty low, um, especially being somebody who lives out of a backpack and constantly has them. It, it, it can cause problems. So they're not all that durable, but like I said, I knew about this going into it. They're only $20. You're only supposed to wear these in your sleeping bag. They're only made for nighttime sleeping when it's cold in your sleeping bag. They're, you know, they're sleeping bag booties. So the reason they have holes is probably completely my fault because every morning I wake up I camp probably less than a quarter mile away from the methadone clinic where I have to go to dose if you know anything about me um, in this channel you know I'm a recovering addict and I go to the methadone clinic I'm down to 40 milligrams so I'm doing really good with it and everything but for the time being I do still go there to get my dose every morning and since I close at work every night I'm usually, you know, I don't get to sleep after closing at work until 4 or 5 in the morning. I don't get off of work until 2.30. I don't get home till 3. I don't have my camp all set up till 4. And, you know, and then I'm usually wound up so I watch some Better Call Saul or something like that on Netflix until I fall asleep. So, I don't get a lot of sleep. I gotta be at the clinic by no later than 9.30. I usually just wake up around 10 uh, around 9 10 and i lock the zippers closed on my bivy sack and i run to the clinic i can almost keep my eye on my camp the whole time that i go to the clinic and come back but i run over there i dose with the booties on inside of my shoes and run back to camp take my shoes off get back in my sleeping bag and sleep for another hour or two because i have a decent spot right now i can do that but that's why my booties have holes in them is because that little, you know, um, eighth of a mile walk there and eighth of a mile walk back while wearing the booties inside of my shoes, it's not good for them. It's, it's really the worst thing you could do for them. If I was just walking around without my shoes on, um, I don't think they would have got the holes so fast. But since I'm walking there and back with my shoes on and the booties on inside of my shoes, I think that's where the holes have come from. Um, so, you know, if you don't walk anywhere in these boots, um, you only use them to get into your sleeping bag and get out of your sleeping bag and keep your feet warm while you're in there, 
then I think they'll last you a lot longer, and um, I think they'll they'll hold up and they won't get the holes as quick. They probably will get them eventually, but not as quick. But yeah, so don't walk anywhere in them. <laughs> and for 20 bucks, I would recommend them. It is a good deal. Um, 20 bucks, they keep your feet very, very, very warm. They're very nice. Um, piece of advice, you don't wear socks with these at all. Um, I wear, throughout the days when it's cold, I wear a pair of normal long socks and then a pair of wool long socks, really thick wool socks. And um, some nights, you know, after I've been working, um, well, some nights before, I learned not to do this anymore. Um, I would, a couple nights, I would come home and just stick my feet into these things, take the shoes off, put my feet in, and then, you know, get in the sleeping bag. Um, after doing that once or twice, I learned just take the socks off because it makes your feet get, if they're, they're going to be sweaty. They're going to, your socks are going to be a little bit damp. Even if it doesn't seem like it, they will be a little bit damp and um, they get colder quicker. They get itchy. If you have these on plus socks on, you can't use your foot to scratch your other foot. It's problematic. Take your socks off completely when you wear these things and don't walk anywhere in them. And they will serve you a lot longer than they have me. They won't get these holes in them, I don't think. If anybody's ever had these and has only worn them in sleeping bags let me know in the comments how long they lasted you if you liked them if there's a more durable version of these that Sony knows about you know that suits my crazy lifestyle a little better let me know that in the comments as well I wouldn't mind getting a pair of these that I know isn't gonna fall apart at the seams in a month um, and spending you know like 40 bucks or something uh, now I'm pulling all the down stuffing out because I'm trying to stuff it into this hole and I'm making the hole bigger and it's causing problems. I need to sew this up tonight but uh yeah that's about my review that's everything I got to say about them. Let me uh let me just put some on real quick and show you what it looks like on my feet. As I said wool sock normal sock comes off. This one it's just losing a little stuffing here and it's got a little hole here. This one's pretty bad though, but anyway, slide it onto your foot. Like they may be a little bit cold when you first put them on because it's nylon, and some people may want to wear one thin sock, maybe like a, a low cut, real thin material sock um, under, in between, you know, over your foot while you wear these, just for the simple fact that I'm sure some people don't like the feel of nylon on skin. That. You know, I don't mind it. It doesn't bother me at all. Um, I will just take my socks off and wear it like this. But all I'm saying is don't wear two layers of socks. Don't have a wool sock and then another sock under these because these will keep your foot warm enough just by themselves unless you're in like really cold, really, really cold. But I mean, I've been down, I've been wearing these things in my sleeping bag and my baby sack in 10 degrees Fahrenheit. So and that's just with my bare foot under these and I was fine. Like my feet didn't get cold at all. Um, if they were wet, that would be another story. But in dry, cold weather, you don't need the socks. It just adds itchiness. But if you don't like the feel of, of uh, nylon on skin, um, then maybe just wear one, one thin sock and that's it. But yeah, that's it. That's the um, Aegis Max Wind Hard Down Booty, Winter Down Booty. All right, guys, it's been about two, three weeks since I shot that video, and uh, here's my Aegis Max slash Wind Hard Winter Down Booties all stitched up. Um, see, so you can see I stitched them up there, stitched them up there, stitched that one up pretty good, and also right there. But uh, other than this hole right here, which I need to re-stitch, all my stitches have held up real nicely. Um, I've almost entirely refrained from wearing my booties inside of my shoes to the clinic, but I have actually done it. When you're in a hurry to just get there and then get back and go to sleep and it's freezing cold, you know... It, it, it's a hassle. I don't want to take these off, put my socks on, put my shoes on, go there, and then come back, take my socks off, put these back on. You know, I just 
throw my shoes on, go there, come back, take my shoes off, and go back to sleep. So, but with the stitching in there, it's held up even with um, the couple times that I've worn my shoes. So uh, I'm pretty happy with my stitching job and uh, I'm pretty happy with these boots now that they're reinforced structurally. And by the way, if you're wondering why sometimes I call them Aegis Max in this video, sometimes I call them Wind Hard, well, um, you can buy it from both companies on Amazon. I don't know if they're both the same company or what, but regardless of which company you buy it from, you'll always have the Aegis Max logoing on the booties, and the price is pretty much the same. $20, you can get the Wind Hard Winter Down Booties or the Aegis Max Winter Down Booties. So check them out, guys. If your feet get cold easily, or maybe if your spouse likes it really cold and you you know don't like it that cold and your feet get cold or if you're going camping somewhere cold uh, hiking backpacking this product will be great for you just like I said remember not to walk around a lot with it just wear it to bed and it'll serve you great remember guys if you like this video hit that thumbs up for me give me some likes um, that's how these videos get shown when people are doing searches the more likes it has the more likely it is to get searched so that's how you know that's how we can get some more uh, subscribers and some more views by the way if you aren't subscribed hit the red subscribe button down in the corner in the down there somewhere the red one make sure you do that and last but not least always if you want to know whenever I drop new videos, bring these things out, make sure you hit the little bell icon and then you'll get a notification every time. Thank you guys so much for watching. We're almost at 200 subscribers. We got like 198. It's all because of you guys, so thank you.